Here's one for you to think about when you're going to sleep tonight. In fact, it is one to think about all the time. All the time until you understand what you are, where you are, where you're at and what's happening next. Because as I've told you before, time is a TIE 33 ME. Time is about a clock and it's about a date. And the date is one of the life and death and birth of a fictional character from an organized religion. It doesn't matter how many people believe in it or don't believe in it. They believe, they don't know. It's a faith. You have faith in faith. You don't have fact in faith. So let's get that straight for a start. And I'm not having to go at Christians, I'm having to go at all organised religions. Top to bottom, every single one of them. All absolute bullshit. Just like time is absolute bullshit. So let's just explain to you. It's measured from that date. And isn't it strange how all these nations and countries and stuff and all of the religions they've got there and they, they all follow our time which is calculated from the date of a Christian belief. Everything is fake. It's one fake based on another fake based on another fake using that fake to back it up. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Time doesn't exist. Time is fiction. Pure fiction. Who invented the clock? Who decided what a minute and a second was? Now how did they work it out and calculate it? I want you to have a really good think about that. Because the clock hasn't really been around that long, you know. It hasn't really been around that long. It's fiction. Time is fiction. All right. Is aging fiction? No, aging occurs. People get older, items get older. As things, you know, get older, they break, they wear down. Yeah, that happens. The process of decay and all the rest of it. And regeneration. Yeah, all these things happen. But this isn't time. These are ages and eras or whatever you want to call it. You can't break it all down into seconds and minutes and whatever you want to call it. Whatever somebody wants to come up with a new idea and call it that instead. And, and we could say that a day is now 12 hours and not 24. And anyway, what's an hour? Well, it's this many minutes. You can calculate it using one of these calibrated machines that we invented. Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's all fake. Everything you thought was real is fake. Everything. And I mean everything. And the sooner you'll wake up and understand this, the better for everybody else. But you know, the reason they have all these weapons of war, because all wars are fake, but the reason they have the weapons out is in case everybody else finds out what I know. And believes it and gets together. That's why they've got that. Put you in fear. But time doesn't exist. And if we don't live in time, in a time, then what do we live in? Yeah, and I put it to you that it's a rotating frequency. And it's some sort of coded system. Right. I ain't smart enough to know the exact answers yet, but I can tell you that I've been down the right paths over the last decade or so, and I've followed the right stuff, and I've figured the right things out, and everything always clicks into place when I find new stuff when I'm looking on that, you know, where, I'm, where I've been, and everything fits in. Now, if anyone wants to prove to me that time's a real thing and it's not man-made and it's not part of the system, 
and it's something we should be talking about. Same goes for religion. Anyone wants to try and prove me wrong on that. Because you can't, because, like I'm saying to you, there's facts, and then there's faiths. And faiths, yeah, having faith in something is for people that want to have something to believe in. People who want to wish the world was a better place. But it's not. You, in fact, live inside some sort of program, essentially. Like a frequency that rotates through various stages and resets. Yeah? And then comes back in a slightly different way. But with the same kind of like impetus, but it's a slightly different thing. And that's what's happening right now. And there's a million and one things pointing exactly to what I'm saying being true. So there's your, uh, there's your little video for you to have a think about. About everything I've just said and think about it carefully and see if you can come back and prove me wrong. But I don't think you're going to be able to. Nighty night. I'm the one with the message. What? Wake, Wake up, up, bird boy. boy.